Having a staff at Gibraltar Terrier that jumps up people every time you meet them. A staffy who every time you take for a walk is pulling and jumping at everybody that you encounter. It's not just a frustrating experience, but it can be a dangerous one and is a behavior that you need to get under control and addressed as quickly as possible. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks that as my role as a canine behaviorist, I've helped thousands of people be able to get on top of this infuriating and dangerous behavior as quickly as possible. Now, when it comes to stopping your dog from jumping, we're gonna go through a three step process. And step number one is that we absolutely must, because we love the dog and we need to keep them and other people safe, is we must correct that behavior. Now, depending on what kind of correction we use depends completely on your dog and their sensitivity to what it is that allows them to understand that they're doing something that isn't acceptable. That might be a verbal correction in the form of a no or a ch type noise. It might be a pet corrector spray noise. It might be with a little bit of physical touch. It might be with a tool like a slip lead. Now I've got tons of videos showing you exactly how you can achieve that over on my training channel. But when it comes to fixing this problem with your dog, we have to first of all understand that it's only fair to them that we help them understand what isn't acceptable. And when we've done that, we can then move on to step two. So now we've got over the difficult bit, the bit that Frank Frankly, nobody likes but is incredibly important if we actually want to fix this issue and we've corrected the behavior well now we can get back to the fun stuff and we can redirect them to what it is that we do want so if up to this point the dog every time it's met somebody jumps up them because they want to get praise they want to get fuss they want to get physical contact well now we're going to flip the script and we're going to redirect them to what we do want from them instead and then let them have access to all of those wonderful things this might be a sit and a stay. It might be a place command. It might simply be what we call all four on the floor. And just by keeping all four paws on the floor, you are going to now get praise, reward, and fuss. Which does take us nicely on to the third step, and that is around that reinforcement piece of the puzzle. We have to have the ability to communicate to our dogs when they're doing something wrong, but we shouldn't just leave it there and be happy with that. We want to help our dogs understand what it is that we do want from them so we can correct the undesirable behavior but then we use our obedience and we redirect them back to what it is that we do want from them and then we reward that behavior with food with praise with treats or with toys and then your dog has the ability to understand what we do want to understand what we don't want and they understand that if they choose a bad behavior there will be consequences and if they choose the good behavior there will be reward and praise and which behavior do you think your dog is then going to choose you're going to have a dog that is filled with confidence that knows what it is that it wants to do knows what it is that it needs to do and knows how to please you and gain access to all the things that they've ever dreamed of so put those three steps into practice and you will be able to have your dog not just stop jumping but be able to stop them doing the vast majority of problem behaviors as well so guys i hope you enjoyed that video and if you love the staffordshire bull terrier as much as i do don't forget to subscribe to this channel like the video because we can't wait to see you here on the next episode